Number 11 then from the 2017 Advanced Tire Paper. Here we go, use logarithmic differentiation, five marks here. And this takes you beyond the halfway mark, the half mark mark. So, well, there's a plus one in an index, which means you could split it into something times just an x. But I don't see any benefit in that just now, so I'll just do it the same. Use logarithmic differentiation, so take the logarithm of both sides. So ln of y equals ln of x to the 2x cubed plus 1. That's what I say, ln. And the handy thing about that was, by applying the logarithm, you can get at this index that was sitting up there, hiding up a tree. So, out it comes to the front, where you can get at it. So it's that times ln of x. Now you can differentiate both sides. So log just goes to 1 over the function it's acting on, times the derivative of that function, so times divided by dx, and this is a product. So this part first. 6x squared and 1 disappears, so it's just 6x squared times a log n. Now this has been done. So it just waits while this gets its shot at being differentiated, and that just goes to 1 over x. Well, to get to y by dx, I just need to get rid of that y now. So putting that over the other side. So keep this together just now. Ooh, that's a lot better. 6x squared ln x plus, now that's all over x. I'll just leave it that way. 2x cubed plus 1 over x multiplying by y. But I'm not going to write another line just so I can write y times it. Well, let's shade you in while we're at it. y is equal to this. So that's x to the power 2x cubed plus 1. Yes, another equals, because there's something I can do with that. Now I can use that business. x to the 2x cubed plus 1 is the same as x to the 2x cubed times an x. So you can tidy this bit up by taking this x, so I'm just left with x to the 2x there, by taking this x and multiplying the bracket by it, which will remove that wee awkward denominator. Okay, it bumps that up. That now becomes 6x cubed ln x. But at least that part just becomes 2x cubed plus 1. So it would be that times x to the 2x cubed. Now, it's a five mark question, so I don't know if they're actually expecting you to end up with this result or whether they'd be happy just to leave you with that for the five marks. I've got suspicion that they might be looking for this because of that extra little plus one.